Hi, my name's John Everis. I'm a garden designer and I'll be working with the REF Benevolent Fund at Chelsea Flower Show in 2022. We're at REF Ridgewell today and this is the actual site where my father flew in 1943. So my father served in 90 Squadron flying Stirling bombers here at RAF Ridgewell. It's an amazing site that's been so well preserved. I think what I love about all the artifacts and pieces I have, I have his logbook, I've got lots of his flying gloves, all these badges and medals and things that he had, and it sort of keeps the story going for me. Every time I get them out, I think of my father. I feel like he stood over on my shoulder talking me through his journey. And to come back to Ridgewell here and bring these artifacts here, so many of them are relevant to this site. Um, the, the missions that you flew, the ops, and talking through to the people that were on the museum. It's been incredible um, that we can bring the two stories together. He got shot down in April 1943. Um, pilot amazingly saved their lives by crashing the plane between two trees, and knocking the wings off, which had all the fuel, and everybody managed to get out of the fuselage further down the field. Whilst he was waiting, he managed to take a photograph of the crash and also hide his watch and bury it inside of the ditch. We have the photograph and we have the watch and it's very proudly kept in our family. From there, he uh, hid in a garage in Shoney, just north of the site. And four to five weeks later, after getting his identity papers, he was smuggled to Paris, hidden in a flat there. And from there, he traveled down by steam train quite often hiding in barns or in people's houses on the journey down. Eventually made it to the Pyrenees and a three to four day journey over the Pyrenees, uh, freezing cold conditions in a pair of pencils. Took him to Andorra and then through to Barcelona and then back to Gibraltar where he returned to the UK. His parents knew nothing about his escape or what happened to him after he'd been shot down. First time they knew was when he knocked on the door four to five months later. His mother answered the door and she fainted on the spot. My father, when I was growing up, really talked very little about his wartime experiences. And it was only really after he retired that he started to do talks to raise money for the people that helped him back in France. And as a young boy, I became so engaged with the stories he told about his friends, what, what he'd done over in France, and obviously, the relationship we had with the, the people that helped him. As part of the REF family through my father's story, um, it's a tremendous honour to represent the veterans from the past, from the present and also for the future, and to raise awareness of the work that the REF Benevolent Fund do.